getting them through that first 12 months is the is critical if they if you can get most um, trees through the first 12 months wherever you plant them then they can they'll establish themselves and they'll take off there are exceptions things will you know inevitably die like my farmer once told me if you've got livestock you've got dead stock well it's the same with trees um, you will occasionally get something that's established die on you but generally once you've got the trees through that first critical 12 months period they will usually grow on. Weed competition is a very um, important factor with uh, establishing your trees and getting them to grow. So if you can keep the reeds suppressed without damaging your trees, that's a really important thing. Uh, preparation, site preparation going in uh, helps with that a lot. We sometimes tell people if you can put a two year preparation in, you know, suppressing weeds over a two year period, that will help imme um, immensely in that first year of establishment. Weeds are going to rob your trees of uh, soil moisture and soil nutrients. The longer out you are and the, 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 the lower the weed load is, the better for your seedlings. Um, and once they're growing, you still need to sort of make sure the weed load isn't too much. If you can go out like in that first year or two and just keep the weeds under control around the trees without damaging them, that will ensure your trees grow um, to their full potential in that area. Native animals people want in, on their places will still damage your trees. It, and stock, stock's not vermin, but stock is a problem too. The, the first thing you've got to do is, is fence your, your planting area. You keep out the larger animals. Uh, kangaroos will jump the fence anyway, but if you can dissuade most things from going into your uh, planting that's a big help uh, tree guards help to a certain degree especially with uh, low numbers of, if you've got low rabbit numbers um, rabbits kangaroos things that will eat your plants can also be deterred by spraying a, a, a grazing deterrent on the young plants when we mix that up there's a, a recipe for it that we can give people if they want it and you just sort of spray that on the on the trees and they don't the, the animals don't like eating it because it's sort of crunchy and horrible and it doesn't seem to affect the trees they grow on nicely and once they're big enough the grazing becomes less of a problem do some rabbit control when I, we were talking about weed control having a two-year prep include rabbit control in that too if you if you knock your rabbits down to very low numbers it's a lot easier to prevent them from damaging your trees and shrubs Dry summers are probably the biggest killer of, of young trees, especially in the low rainfall areas. It's important to make a divot or a, a furrow for the trees to, to grow in. Um, like I say, in a good year you won't have to water if you've selected the right trees. But if it turns out to be a really drought year, if you can get out uh, once every two weeks or three weeks and just put a little bit of water on them, you'll be surprised how much just a little bit of water, will, what difference that will make. Especially in sandy soils, the top layer of soil is almost air. Uh, if you don't get the roots down deep enough to get uh, access to a little bit of subsurface moisture, um, the, the trees can fail. So getting them down deep enough to get a bit of subsurface moisture in sandy environments is really important. Not so critical with heavy clays because as soon as you put them under the ground, they're in, they're in contact with that, that moist soil. Uh, the easiest way to mitigate frost is to select frost tolerant species, something like a flat top yate or there's a multitude of others. Um, something like sugar gum is a fantastic tree, but unless you protect it from the frost, you're going to have trouble in those first couple of years. Tree guards help a lot with, with frost as well. So some sort of protection to uh, mitigate frost damage in, on more sensitive trees. Planting close to existing tree lines is a bad idea, unless you've got a lot of water and uh, time to put into it. Yeah, excess salinity is actually quite common in, in certain areas of the state. And again, um, it's choosing the right tree for that environment, but not planting directly into the salt soak or the, the, where the salt's coming out. Species that are salt tolerant, like uh, uh, old man salt bush, or uh, if, you, if you really want to plant trees, then it's got to be something like flat top yate or uh, salt grow clones that are designed for that, that 
situation. So protection, a little bit of mothering in that first year will ensure that your trees survive to however long their lifespan is.